24 and we're going to be talking about task editor so in task editor there are more than 500 commands that are there in the task editor now if you want to master automation anywhere you need to understand all the commands and where to use which command right so for example let's say there is you want to use a web application so if you want to use a web application you cannot use the PDF integration command it doesn't make any sense so that's the most important thing you have to understand learn the different things different uh, uh, commands that are there right and through which you can automate to automate the facts automate the things right so these are the things these are the most important things that you have to master and then you can see the option how to how do you navigate to the task editor this is how you you go to tools and then you go to the uh, to a task editor if you click on task editor it takes you to that window as you can see it does take some some time the reason is uh, because it uh, a new window opens up so of course it will take time because it's a new window as you can see here that's the task editor right this is the console of the task editor and if you want to edit a specific task then you can just go over here and click on that specific task and just click on that right if you want to edit it right click and edit right so that's how you can do it and these are all the options that are present right if you want to run it you can just right click run done it will be uh, it'll, it'll run it if you want to edit it you can also edit it right it that's if you click on edit that's done so if you click on edit then what happens it takes you back to the uh, task and you can see what are all the commands that are there in the task right so for example here you can see the commands that are there the message box just a basic hollow world program right so that's the body of the task we call it as the body and if you want to upload a specific task to the repository you can do that to the that's nothing but the client control right or if you want to duplicate it uh, copy copy paste you can also do that using the copy command right or if you want to rename it right so you can also rename it using just click on rename it's very simple so talking about locate on disk what it will do is if you click on locate on disk it basically takes you to the file that is present on the de on on your uh, on your system right so you can see here it just took me to the folder it's uh, it's a common feature that's there in the operating system i think you are aware of this right so it's quite simple so here it is taking me to the uh, my task the folder where my file is present so all the folders by default will be present in this location my documents in automation anywhere files right so that's where it is present i think you should remember the um, file this path of uh, this and you can see all these folders all these folders will be used by this software to do different thing and if you want to change the uh, uh, things go to options and then you can go to the path settings and you can change where it will be creating the files and all that yes you can do it and uh, this is how it's done so just go here and uh, change it right it's quite simple now let's see one by one what are all the different commands that are there earlier session we have seen on a very high level overview we will now go a bit deeper on that right so the um, you can see here all the commands that are there if you want to categorize then you can also see on the categories you can see the different categories that is there on the keystrokes com um, uh, like uh, programs conditions loops right uh, so different things that are there right so advanced uh, we have this error handling on basic and advanced so we have a combination of basic and advanced right so if you say view all then you can see all of it uh, uh, and this is the main task window it uh, you can see the body of uh, the task if you want to edit any task or if you want to create any task this is where you create it so you just select any command either double click the command you can just double click it or drag and drop if you drag and drop okay so if you just drag and drop or double click then this is initiated this command is ready to use then just configure the command it you can i mean depending upon the command that you have called right for example in database you need to configure the properties and then you need to do it right so 
it's pretty much as you can see here the interface is completely ui based right there's uh, there's nothing much uh, uh, like uh, like a language or something it's quite simple and on you can see on the variable sites there are different variables that are present uh, you can create your variables there are different variables that are present right system type variables are there and uh, you can create your own variable for example just say add variable and uh, there are four types of variables uh, types right as you can see here's list uh, array random you just give a name and select the type and it's done right it's quite useful the and you can if you want to initiate a value like give a default value you, yes you can also do that so that depends sometimes we do give value sometimes we don't so that depends right so just click yes and you will see a user defined value uh, variable right so that's how it's done right you can if you want to assign later a value you can also do it right so now you can see the variable has a value 12 right so that way you can create different type of variables the system variables and the user defined variables right so it's quite useful and uh, if you want to see all the system variables what are all the system variables that are there then just click on the show system variables then it shows all the system variables which uh, as you can see here all these variables year month all different things are there these are all the system variables so you will not be using them like you can also use it but this is uh, used by the system of course you can make use of this right so the, the the thing that i'm trying to say is it's created by the system you are not going to create this or give value to this particular thing so most of the things are pretty much automatic and for email you can use this stuff uh, email from email to email cc quite useful and uh, trigger as we uh, have seen the different triggers and if you want to give a trigger value to any of the tasks you can use it and for pdf automation we can use these particular variables right that are uh, present the pdf title and other stuff and the system the machine name clipboard system um, uh, other particular configuration right the os name so all these things are also present that can be used right so if you want to use the array rows and array columns so that is also useful sometimes uh, that depends right and if you want to view the property of all these variables right then you can check the description whatever uh, uh, you can see here return system whatever it is returning and all other stuff right so this is how the system variable looks like right it's pretty simple and uh, if your task contains any specific error then you check the error view so that's the error view so uh, as of now currently there's uh, no error logic now let's say uh, insert error logic with let's say error uh, handling right uh, i'll be talking about error handling later right but i'm just demonstrating it now you can see here i just added the error handling and you can see the comments that are particular present and you can see on the right hand side it shows the ta the uh, related to the error logic right so that's the thing about the error we'll be talking about this error handling stuff later because uh, first you need to know understand how to run the task and other stuff then uh, you need to uh, understand how to this is pretty much like exception handling that you have in c c plus plus and java languages right so we'll be uh, we'll, we'll see that how to use it no need to worry right uh, variable management and error right these are the two things that are there let's say for a task right now let's say if i want to put a filter right so la, let's say let's say i'm putting a uh, mouse move i will talk about it later what exactly is a mouse move right now let's say mouse move capture so i've inserted a mouse view and let's say if i 
uh, want to view only that particular command let's say right let's say only the mouse move that i want to see then just uncheck all those fields right then it will show you only the mouse home. you got it right it's quite simple right so that way you can filter the particular task and you can see this right it makes it pretty simple i mean uh, uh, see now you might be thinking hey it's not a big deal because uh, why would i use this filter see this is a basic task so it's uh, it doesn't make much sense but you will see that down the line there will be a lot of complicated uh, tasks complicated means there will be a lot of commands like 100 200 300 commands then it becomes quite difficult uh, to see this right so that's where it becomes very much useful <coughs> right